How did encouragement and support from high school teachers uh, shape your willingness to experiment and take risks? Well, um, I, found, I found high school to be pretty boring in the fact that, you know, it was standard education, you know, I was in a public high school, which I liked, uh, and I just kind of went with the flow. There was nothing exciting. And there was a few teachers that really challenged me, that really kind of went out there and were okay with me thinking differently. That got me excited and I, uh, and I participated more. You know, I had a marketing professor uh, and in high school it was really new. It was a business school class. I took it my, my, my junior year. I really excelled at it. Um, she really kind of pushed me to think differently. I remember we were in this, uh, it was business, uh, this business competition. It was my junior year. I came up with a business idea to help a local store and I always thought digitally and I said, my local store was a video rental store and at the time DVDs were out. So I said, why don't we put DVDs in the mail and someone go on our website and we'll have all of our DVDs and you can click on it and they'll email us and we'll, we'll send you the, the mail and the DVDs. And uh, this was our great big idea. I was so passionate and excited about it. I presented it to the judge uh, for DECA, this is the, the marketing association, and uh, they said it was a horrible idea and we lost. And we just, they thought it was the dumbest idea they ever heard. And my teacher was like, that was, you know what, that was a really good idea, Mike. Maybe you got to fine tune it a little better, but that's a good idea. And if you really believe in it, you should go with it. And uh, about a couple of years ago, she, <laughs> she emailed me, oh, this Netflix thing looks pretty cool. And I was like, yeah, great, great, great idea. Um, so it was the teachers that really, that, that, that were really willing to push us. And I had a great professor in college who stood behind us. Um, you know, we would get in trouble for making websites in college that were, whether they were book swapping sites or they were college rating professor sites, and they were the teachers that stood behind us and said, these are the students that we need to be encouraging this. This is innovation, something different, not something we should look down upon because they're not following the traditional path. And nothing about the traditional path in life and in education has ever gotten me excited. Therefore, I don't participate in it well. It's when I don't know what's going on. It's when something is totally new and something hasn't been done before. That gets me excited. And it was the teachers that embraced that. And it was the teachers that said, let's take you outside of what everyone else is doing and see what you come up with. And that's when, you know, I think those were the ones that really got me excited about being an entrepreneur, that got me excited about going into politics, going into kind of uncharted territory, be willing to, to find my way around. I think those were the teachers that really excited, uh, got me passionate about doing that. And the funny thing about that is those, teacher pro those teachers, as a result, probably probably have a more rewarding experience teaching. I would, I would hope so. I think that, you know, instead of doing the traditional syllabus or, or the traditional way of getting the traditional paper, by challenging me to do something differently, that, that the, it got added maybe some spice to their, you know, to their normal grading procedures or however. But uh, you know, I still keep in, in contact with a lot of my teachers. Um, college and a couple of, in high school uh, to this day. And they, you know, they always said that they believed that that I was looking at it differently and that that was something that they should stand behind and it's so far been a, a, a humongous asset in my life.